in this video we study about two important types of relations while in the previous video we had studied about trivial relations in this video we'll be studying two relations identity relation and reflexive relation in detail let's take up these relations one by one and then let's then have a better understanding of these identity relation let me read out the definition once for you and then we discuss it in detail with the help of one example if every element of a set a is related to itself only these two words are very important itself only that means i have a relation such that all the elements are related but they are only and only related to themselves and not anything else it is called as the identity relation the mathematical representation of the same would be i is equal to a comma a a comma a is related such that a belongs to a where this capital a is the set let me see one example to you and then let's understand the same suppose i have a set a and the set a has some elements 1 2 3 I have a set A with three elements one, two, three. Also, if I have been defined by a relation R one such that it is one comma one, two comma two, and three comma three. I have a relation R one which is one comma one, two comma two, three comma three. That means there are three ordered pairs for these three elements of a set. every element that you can see is related to itself only one is related to one only two is related to two only three is related to three only hence by the definition of identity relation which we studied this relation is an example of identity relation now after understanding what is identity relation let's move on to the second part of this video reflexive relation this actually relation is a bit confused by students from identity relation but there is only a minute difference if we understand that we can easily understand what a reflexive relation is let's read out the definition once together and let's understand the same reflexive relation if every element of a set is related to itself do we see the difference here it's written itself only while here i have itself if every element of a set is related to itself it is called as a reflexive relation that means yes i have a relation defined wherein the elements of a set are related to itself and there can be something else also because i don't have that word only so let's see the mathematical definition then if a comma a belongs to r for all a belongs to a for all or for every is a discrete mathematical symbol which means that you have to take all the elements into consideration of a set so if i have a capital a named set which has elements as small a and then if i have the ordered pair for all the elements then it would be a reflexive relation let's see this reflexive relation also with the help of example just as we saw identity relation so i again have this set this is an example which i quoted for identity relation and now i'm going to explain reflexive relation by the same a is equal to 1 2 3 r 2 is another relation and that relation is what that relation is 1 1 2 3 2 so if i have been given r2 as 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 1 3 now let's see what this relation explains to us it says that 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 3 is related to 3 also it says one extra thing that 1 is also related to 3 now can this be an identity relation no not at all 
because in an identity relation we already saw the definition that elements should be related to themselves only nothing extra but yes in a reflexive relation we saw that the elements are related to itself did we hear or did we see the word only there no that means there can be something extra present provided you have already covered all the elements which are related to itself so yes this relation r2 is an example of a reflexive relation now let's move on back to this r1 i know it is an identity relation by the definition that elements are related to itself only but is it a reflexive relation yes it is because the elements are related to itself is the condition for reflexive if there are some things extra present reflexive relation does not have any problem with it okay but if there aren't any extra relations any extra ordered pair presence and all the basic ones are covered yes it is an identity relation and so it is also a reflexive relation so we have this it is an identity relation and also it is what it is a reflexive relation also now identity relation and reflexive relation a relation which is already identity relation is a reflexive relation but a relation which is reflexive may or may not be an identity relation and that is what we have seen in the note which is written here that every identity relation is reflexive but every reflexive relation may or may not be an identity relation so in this video we saw what is an identity relation what is a reflexive relation and some example to the same in the subsequent videos we'll be taking up all these types one by one i hope you understood it thoroughly